So you have a iPad Pro 11 inch, doesn't matter if it's their first, second or uh, third generation, the one that doesn't have a physical home button, you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though it's a black screen, you know that it's on, maybe you hear notifications coming in. Another way to tell if your iPad is actually on is go ahead and give it a charge. Now this one is fixed, but let's pretend if it, even if it was still a black screen and you plug it in, you should be able to hear that ding when you give it a charge, okay? I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. By the end of this video, at least 70% of you guys should be up and running, okay? So let's pretend I have a black screen here. First thing we wanna do is go ahead and restart it using a special key combination, okay? It's gonna be the, um, you're gonna tap the volume up, volume down, and press and hold this power button, and do not let go of the power button until we see the Apple logo appear, then let go quickly, okay? Let's print up a black screen here. Let's do it together. Ready? Volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo. Pretend my screen is black here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button now. The iPad is going to go ahead and turn off. Now it's going to turn back on and I should see the Apple logo. And as soon as I see the Apple logo, let go of the power button right away. Let it boot back up and hopefully now you are out of the black screen. If not, we're going to go to option number two. Okay, so option number two, first thing we want to do is go ahead and spam the volume rockers, volume up and down, and the power button. So volume up, spam it in and out, in and out, volume down, spam it, and the same thing with the power button here, spam it in and out like this. Now, it's possible that your power button could be jammed, stuck, uh, you might have something in there, and it's causing the black screen issue. Okay, now do that. Now, let's go ahead and plug it in. Again, pretend my screen is still here, it's still black, and it's plugged in. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and restart it using that special key combination again, okay, while it is plugged in and charging it. Remember, volume up, volume down, then press, or volume up, volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button, do not let go until we see an Apple logo while it is charging. So we'll do it together, ready? Volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go. So keep on holding to the power button. Pretend my screen here is black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding on to that power button, waiting for an Apple logo to appear while it is plugged in and charging. So still holding. Where's that Apple logo? There it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so you have a black screen still, no problem. So first thing, we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. Now what we're gonna do is what I call a tap method. Go ahead and lay the iPad on your desk. Go ahead and get two fingers, and what I want you to do is tap, kinda of hard, firmly. All right, between my screen here is black, and just keep doing this. And sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden your screen would just pop right on. Sometimes you get like half a screen, sometimes you get like white line or gray lines. Just keep tapping like this, okay? Kinda of hard all over all over okay screen still black no problem go ahead and turn it over and do the same thing on the back okay got to tap kind of hard okay the whole premise behind this is you might have something slightly dislodged and a simple tap can pop it back into place now also what you want to do is you want to tap all around the lens if you don't want to get it dirty you can just put like a rag over it or a washcloth or something just tap on it also all around it see on it all around it, even on the top edges here, all over, okay? All over the whole thing. Turn it over and see if your iPad is on. If it's not, then from here, we're gonna do the same thing to restart it, remember. Volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go. So I'm still holding on to the power button here, just waiting for the Apple logo to appear. Still holding. Still holding. Where's that Apple logo? There it is. Go ahead and let go of the power button and let it boot up normally and hopefully now you are out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible fix. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do here is what I call the massage method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the iPad down and we're gonna use our thumbs and we're gonna press all over the screen and all over the black, all over the back. It's the same premise with the, uh, the tapping method. You, you might have something slightly dislodged, okay? So let's go ahead, um, if, you, if you don't want to smudge up your iPad, you can go ahead and just get a cloth or something or a towel or a paper towel. What I want you to do is just press, press down, press, 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 and just keep going. Sometimes you hear a little click and all of a sudden your screen will pop on. Anyway, 
just press, keep on pressing, okay? Sometimes you're doing this, sometimes the screen will pop on automatically. Sometimes you get a half a screen or white lines again. Just keep pressing, press, 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 press. Same thing on the back, okay? You wanna press, 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 all over, okay? Even the back here, sometimes you hear a little click. If you hear a little click, turn it over and see if your iPad's on, okay? Just all over, all, even around here, around the edges of the lens, press, 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 all over the back. Turn it over, see if your screen is on. If it's not, same thing to restart it, remember. Volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and wait till the Apple logo appears, then let go. Anyway, once your uh, iPad boots back up, hopefully you're up and running, if not, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Next possible step is what I call the smack method, okay? The same premise behind the uh, tapping and massage method. You may have something slightly dislodged. So go ahead and hold your hand out like this. You, you can put a rag on there and whatnot. So what I want to do is smack the back and the front of the screen. So we'll start off from the screen here. So you can kind of like pick your iPad up like this, hold your palm out like this, and you want to give it some wax all over on the iPad, okay? Also on the bottom of the iPad, of the screen part, okay? Give it a couple of wax. Turn it over, see if your screen is on. Okay, if it's not, no problem. Now what we're gonna do is smack the back, okay? So go ahead and hold your palm out and grab the iPad like this, and we're gonna give it a couple of wax here on the back top. Same thing on the bottom, okay? So now as you're doing this, Sometimes the screen might just magically appear. Or again, you might get half a screen, you might get like white lines. Sometimes you can get gray lines, right? Tap it like that. Now if you still have a black screen, no problem. So from here, do the same thing. You wanna restart it with the special key combination. Remember, tap volume up, tap volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo appear, then let go quickly, okay? Now hopefully you are up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so for this next step, now what I, want, what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your iPad. Uh, make sure you have no case on here, okay? Take the case off, and then I want you to grab your iPad naked, just like this. I want you to go to your freezer. Put this in your freezer, leave it in there for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, grab your cold iPad and do the same thing to restart it with the special key combination. While it's cold, remember, volume up, volume down, Press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear, then let go of the power button, okay? Now, hopefully you are up and running. Now, the thing is, typically, this, you know, if you went through all these steps, a lot of times when you first go through all these steps, it doesn't work. You're going to have to try it a second time, every single step again in order. If it doesn't work, try it three times. Try it up to seven times. And if you try it at least seven times, like I said, at least 70% of you guys should be up and running. So if it worked for you, Give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a uh, thumbs down or a dislike. We should have a at least a 70% ratio, thumbs up, 30% down. All right? Good luck, guys.